tell us um, in regards of your role, how's the whole um, journey towards preparing for the protest for next week? Um, things are uh, shaping up well. I mean, there's a majority of New Zealanders who don't want this agreement. You know, the agreement was negotiated in secret over six years and we weren't told what was in it. Now that we can see what's in it, it's no wonder they tried to keep the secret because it's not in the interest of New Zealand. So we've done a whole lot of research and it shows that there are apparently economic benefits, but the analysis is really shonky. Actually, there are no economic benefits and high cost to this agreement. So what we're saying is, why are we giving away our sovereignty as a country? Why are we giving away our decision making to create rights for foreign corporations? It's going to affect our environment. It's going to stop action on climate change. It's going to affect the health of, of all New Zealanders. And something we'd love the support from PI communities around. government which uh, <laughs> which would say no to the to the TPPA. So in saying that towards you know um, you know like the struggle is real especially towards understanding what TPPA is uh, what does this mean for those that uphold the Treaty of Waitangi? Um, you know there's something in the uh, in this 6,000 page agreement that says oh yeah there's an exclusion for the Treaty of Waitangi but actually it doesn't mean shows very clearly that this is, is not an exception that carries in the weight at all of you and would be overridden. You know, basically what you're doing is you're not only having the government that has an honour rights under the Treaty of Waitangi, right? now they're giving preferential rights to foreign corporations, so it's even, even worse for, for Māori people because they're now having their claims overridden by foreign corporations and that shouldn't be allowed and that exception that they, they keep on talking about is is not an exception that really means it. It'll affect, it'll affect them a lot uh, and uh, uh, particularly it's going to affect uh, people who aren't kind of uh, rich and own businesses and have a whole lot of money, which is 99% of New Zealand. I think it's all of us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but particularly on, on Pacific Island communities, it's going to affect particularly our healthcare, and it's going to affect foreign companies coming and running, you know, all sorts of public services that people have already been really upset about, circa running out of prisons and about privatisation and a whole lot of things. That's in the TPPA, there's going to be a whole lot more of that. So, you know, those kind of things are going to affect us all. Um, you know, we'd, we'd love Pacific Island communities to, to get more involved in this. And, and uh, um, you know, I think what's really important to remember is that once you give away these democratic rights, it's really hard to get them back again. And, you know, we need the voice of Pacific Island communities out there saying, 
you know, we stand up for the things that are important in, in New Zealand, and we have a voice, and we need to have a voice respected by, by the government. So, so that's what we're calling for, and we really, really hope there's going to be uh, going to be a good response. Yeah, because it's funny that you say that. I must add, because the last time I checked, you know, we are a democratic country. You know, we're not a republic, so and we're definitely not under the United States rules. So, what do you think? Do you think this is a just a tactic of um, bully tactics from John Key, just to try and, you know, because it looks like he doesn't care. Obviously, he doesn't. These guys uh, really want this agreement. You know, what it does is it kind of locks in the, the kind of liberalisation policies that they, you know, the liberalisation and privatisation policies that they've been pursuing. And they can lock them in so government can't, in future, put any policies in place that are actually in all of our interests. And, and that's, you know, the worst part of uh, this agreement. If the government wants to go in and say, for example, you know, we think there ought to be better public broadcasting, we, you know, they can't because broadcasting's already partially commercialised and therefore government can't set up a, a new government entity to do that. That's the kind of thing that's, in, is, you know, there's a whole lot more a lot of stuff on our website about it but but you know i think there's some fairly fundamental stuff here around our rights as as a people the pacific people themselves they, they know about the stuff from their own trade agreements that they've been signing and you know, part of my own background is, is fighting with the pacific against the trade agreements that currently they're negotiating with australia and new zealand under the pace of plus agreement we need from from Aotearoa to give them support in that and that struggle but we need to take care of business here. And taking care of business here is ensuring that the government doesn't sign the TPPA or if it signs that we stop them from, from ratifying it and, and power. I appreciate your comments. So in regards of, uh, you mentioned broadcasting, are you surprised that slowly our broadcasting, our news coverage is it's sort of one-sided? It's not really, um, you know, really biased? I mean, I'm surprised that TV3 News has actually been cut now, so... Yeah, yeah, tell me about it. You know, they're trying to trying to get these messages out. It's really difficult. And there is there is a kind of muzzling of, of, of the media so, so that it's really hard to get this stuff out there when, when it's against the government's spin. You know, but, but the amazing thing, you know, we've got to trust New Zealanders, we've got to trust our own own democracy. Because what the opinion polls say is that most people don't buy the government's spin. Most people are against the TPPA. Most people So, so, you know, the nice thing is that despite all of the media spin and everything else, actually, you know, people are smarter than the government gives them credit for, and that's, uh, that's, that comes something to give us all hope for. But actually, we can help each other to what we see. We can fight against these complicated international agreements that, that you know, the government's pushing hard, the media's pushing hard. Actually, you know, we can rely on that the, the public, you know, everyone is actually capable of making up their own mind. We don't think that they want to do so with the TPPA. It's freedom of choice, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And another thing is, are you surprised that they've got this signing up in uh, Sky City and not actually down in Wellington Parliament? No, well, you know, Sky City, it's a gambling casino. Yeah, very, very positive for the community, uh, eh, John Key? It's crony capitalism with John Key giving advantages to Sky City to set up a regulation on gambling, you know, it's a, but what it is, it's really provoked. You know, what the government is doing is, is trying to provoke a violent response. And we're not buying into this. We're not buying into John Key's trap. You know, he's doing it just a few days before Waitangi Day. Day. You know, we're not buying into this. What we're doing is we're saying we assert our right to, to protest not violently, to protest against this agreement. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to be non-violent. We're going to have thousands of people going down Queen Street saying we reject this agreement, the government has no mandate, they want a mandate, take it to a referendum. You've got two referendums on the flag, why can't they have a referendum or something that's far more So they have no mandate. And that's what we're trying to say to the government. We can do so family friendly, non violent fantastic, colourful, loud march. Hey this is Mima and I'm saying no to the TPPA. You know what's right for our future, Aotearoa, real talk, and it's about Fano. Hello guys, my name's Ernestina, and I say hell no to TPPA. And I say hell no to TPPA, but hell yeah to KFC.